Welcome to this video and I'm going to take a quick run through my Trading212 portfolio covering off the month of September. Welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, hi, I'm Mark of Desperately Seeking Fi. Let's have a quick look at Trading212 and see whereabouts we are. As you can see, I have a overall holding of £44,639 and that is split out with money in portfolio at about 43500 and then just a little bit in there for a reserve order and some free funds, just over £1,000. I have been up and down over the last month, an all-time high and broken through that 45000 mark in the, the overall portfolio, but it has dropped back down, as you can see, to about 44,600. In the cash ISA, we've got just over 10,500 pounds. And in reality, this is my emergency fund. And that's giving me, over the year, that AER rate of 5.1%. And that, that is equating out to about £1.44 a day. You can see that on my ISA allocation, I've used almost 16,000 of it, so I've got about £4,000 left to use. How are you guys getting on? Have you maxed out your ISA this year already? Jumping back over to my stocks and shares ISA, and as you will know if you've been watching the channel, Trading212 is my favourite provider. If you're interested in picking up a free share, you can either use a link that I'll put down below or you can use my promo code of DSFI. When you open up your account and invest at least one pound, you will get a free share of something worth up to a hundred pounds. Just remember that your capital is at risk when you are investing and have a quick look at the terms and conditions. Let's have a quick look and see how things are looking. As we sweep through the different investments that I have, you will see that there is a mix of reds and greens in here. Let's have a quick look and see where my different allocations are. I've got 35 different investments. Do you think that's about right? Do you think that's potentially too many or do you just go for that single, I'll invest into an all world ETF. In here, my top holding is realty income. Then I've got the VUSA, the Vanguard S&P 500, legal and general, national grid, and then I have the emerging markets, and then just a whole load of other individual stocks and ETFs and funds. So my worst performing stock, Evolution Gaming, down 18% overall. Over the last month, it is down about 4%. While this is down, still paying me a dividend yield of 2.29%. Trig is my second worst performing stock within the portfolio. At the moment sat at about 8% down and I'm holding about 1,450 shares of this. I really am considering adding some more to it. Over the last month, it is down 6%, so potentially a great opportunity to get this and buy in and build up my renewable sector holding. And the whole reason behind this drop is that it was suggesting that it had a loss in the first half of this financial year. What I do like about this one is it's a quarterly pair and when I then play this one alongside UKW I end up getting paid 8 months of the year and this one's paying a 7.42% dividend yield. Then third worst performing one is Glencore and that's coming in at about 5.6% down. Over the last month, it is actually up quite considerably, up nearly 16%, so imagine how bad this was last month. CrowdStrike, I think, is potentially the stock within my portfolio that is up the most over the last month, and currently that is looking at being about 27% up at one stage. And if you think back several months ago, this stock price dropped massively on the IT issue that they had when they did their update that ended up grinding aircraft all across the world. This one is not a dividend pair. This is one that I have invested into as a growth opportunity. It is still down from where it was three months ago. So it is still down about 15%. So there is potential for this to continue to keep growing. What is up the most? First of all, we've got Taylor Wimpy, which I hold 500 shares in, and that is up about 43% over 
the period that I've held it but it is down about 5% over the last month. Some of the house builders and those ancillary businesses on in the supply chain have taken a bit of a hit over the last month. You will see that my UK house builder pie that I set up in Trading212 a few months ago, I'll drop a link down below to that one, lose. It has been hit quite hard over the last few weeks. It will have taken a huge hit as a result of it, it going ex-dividend yesterday. And dividend yield for this company currently sat at 9.4%. This is one of my highest paying dividend stocks in the whole portfolio. In second place for the largest growth is ICP, Intermediate Capital Group, currently up 61.6%. Over the last month, reasonably flat, down about a percent. This is a relatively small holding, only holding 20 shares in here at a value of just over £400. This one pays a 3.79% dividend yield. Can anybody guess which my best performing stock is? It's probably one that many of you have within your portfolios as well and it is Rolls-Royce up 135% at time of recording holding just over 100 shares of this it is still a small holding at just 500 plus pounds I wish I bought a lot more into this one when I initially started to invest into it over the last month up 10% Sorry, the dividend will be coming on very soon. Has anybody heard what percentage the dividend is going to be on Rolls-Royce? Is it just going to be a small one um, and then plowing lots of their profits back into the business to help grow it? I've got four ETFs and the best performing one is the S&P 500 and that is up just over 18% over the time that I've been investing. I have been adding to several stocks within here. So the first one is JGGI and this is the JP Morgan Global Growth and Income Fund. And looking at this one, I hold just over 175 shares, just under a thousand pounds. And this one is about 3%. And this is one that I'm just going to keep trickling into every single month. I have invested a couple of times into this and brought that up to that thousand pounds mark. And that just pays a steady dividend uh, quarterly at about 3.46%. SML is down within the portfolio and I've been adding to that one as well. I have just over 1.75 shares of this. I'm just going to keep adding to SML as it really does have a huge moat. It pays a tiny dividend of 0.81%. In Within the UK house builder, one of the companies that I've invested a bit more into is James Halstead. Um, I've just added a, a few more shares into this and currently sat at 115 shares shares and just over 200 pounds and this one's paying a 5.43 percent dividend yield and the last company that i've added to this and this is a new addition is ashted technology um, i've bought just under 500 pounds worth of this stock and that got me 85 shares it isn't really a dividend pair but it does have a small dividend of 0.19 percent Ashstead Technologies, I heard about through the guys at the Two Saves from Playing FTSE podcast. I'll drop a link to their podcast where they talk about this, but this is basically something that covers both the oil industry and the renewable industry. And so sort of this ties into where I'm looking at on UKW and Trig. It is there to do um, sort of surveys. How do you do coating removal, dredging and diver uh, mechanical stuff and really useful for all those inspections of those sort of deep sea uh, pipelines that they need to move either the oil or the the energy uh, from wind offshore wind farms on the uk house builder pie um, i do have that on trading 212 but i actually came up with that by using stockopedia which is the my go-to research tool and i basically put in a few parameters into stockopedia and that threw up a number of 
potential companies to go and have a look at based on their stock ranks. If you want to go and have a look, I've got a link down below. You can have a trial and also get a 25% savings if you were to sign up to that plan so go have a look at that link down below that's a lot of talking about the stocks that are within my portfolio you may be more interested in just doing investments into etfs i've got two things that could help out you could sign up to my newsletter and i'll give you a copy of my etf cheat sheet gives you lots and lots of different options that you could potentially invest into or if you'd rather just go and listen to it i've got a video that covers off lots of different etfs that may be right up your street thanks very much for watching and i will see you in the next one cheers bye